Hello, here's a unique modular system out of Germany in the early 80s. It's the Schneider. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize if I'm not, but the Schneider 8025 series. So the 8025 SR. Um, I don't have that attached yet because the um, there is no belt on that and it's making a, a loud sound. So that's um, not attached. And then below that is the tuner, the AT, 8025 AT. And then below that is your preamp, 8025 PA. And then your power amp, which is 8025 MA. Then over here is Walter, who is in the way. But behind Walter is the turntable. Come on, Walter, get out of the way. The 8025 P. And then the speakers that go with it are the 8027 LS. There are three-way speakers there, um, eight ohms impedance. Um, so this is an interesting system. Is it all, there is no cabling for it. It all clicks together. Here, I'll pull up the um, tape deck so you can see. It all clicks together. See, that could go on the bottom and your turntable can go on that. And on the top, here they have these connectors here, and they stack among each other that way. So you can stack them any way at all, and it'll work just fine. Um, I just was doing the uh, traditional way. I probably would have had the, the tape deck just um, above the preamp here, and then the tuner up on top. Because of, but because of the loud issue with the tape deck, it's on the top here. Walter, get out of the way. So the, the turntable here, it's actually a dual. It's made by dual. So dual's made this turntable. Um, let's cut over here and drop the needle. Get a sense of the sound. It sounds pretty good. It has a subsonic bass here, a mono option, loudness there. Bass, treble, and then your balance, and a micro level, which I'm not so sure what that is. We'll just stop this here. It sound, doesn't sound, I mean, it sounds good. And then take it to an end here. Now, to, to get all the functions to work, you just push the power buttons in each one. So the power, on, if I wanted to go, so right now the power button's on the turntable. And if I wanted to listen to the tuner, I would just push the tuner power button. Oops. I don't have an antenna hooked up to this. Now the, um, the it's, it's all five pin. It's all pin connectors in the back. You see the pin connectors there for the microphone. It's similar for the uh, antenna in the back as well. Um, so that's, and then if I wanted to have the tape deck hooked up, I just push the tape deck button and that would automatically shut off and the tape deck, the tape deck will go on. Let's just turn this off here. I'll just flop, see how easy it is. I'll just flop this tape deck into place here. You can see, see that's the motor going on that, which is a bit of a pain. And to take it off, I just basically disconnecting it and lifting it that way. It's a sliding model. Um, this slides out like that and you pop your tape deck in the top that way and it slides back in and, and the functions work. I did get this open and I did get a belt on here. It wasn't the right belt, but it was a tight enough belt for it to function properly. And the, and the door did slide open and it did slide shut. But on play, there's an idler wheel system in here and that's actually a gear uh, system and that had completely disintegrated. So that would probably be need replacing, well, obviously it needs replacing, and then a proper belt put in to get this to work properly. Um, but that's it. This is the first time I've come across a modular system like this. Um, I'll just power it off here and then punk that black into place here. So at least it looks good. Uh, now it's all made, but this is all uh, made quite well from, from my perspective and um, it's a it's a unique system to have if you're a collector of stereo components this is a very unique 
piece to get, especially all together like this. And I've seen individual pieces here, but you kind of need them all because of the way that they connect in order for it to function properly. And when it's all together, it's quite nice, you know, with the power amp on the bottom here and then their tuner next to it, you do get this nice sort of straight glass line going right across. Now again, to show you how easy it is to connect, you just slide that out. And you can see the connectors down in there, how it connects together for your turntable. I am going to sell this. This is going to be up for sale. And the only reason being is that I just don't have room for it. I do think it's rather cool. I think it would be a nice um, set to have on one table with the speakers and the whole bit. Um, and maybe have it in your, uh, on display in your bedroom or something like that. It's unique. It's cool. Um, Walter, you're always getting in the way. Well, that's what he does. That's why he's my dog and that's why I love him. Anyways, that's it. The Schneider Direct Contact System with your cassette, your tuner, your preamp, your power amp, your turntable, and your speakers. And Walter seems to enjoy this. Thanks for watching.